Hey everybody, this is Adam with Restore and Polish. Today I'm working on a 12 inch hewing axe. Wait till you see the hand carved handle I made for this. Okay, so I guess it's only 11 and a half inches. But what guy watching this hasn't embellished a bit with a tape measure? Notice here that one side of the axe is completely flat. That's because this type of axe is intended to hew wood. Or in other words, flatten a piece or all four sides of a log. Most often this is done when making a square log or carving a notch out of a log for something like a log cabin. I don't know why this axe had paint on it. Maybe the prior owner did that so it didn't rust. I don't know, but I took it off. I plan to do cold bluing on the blade, so first I had to get it polished. This had quite a bit of pitting, which would be impossible to sand down smooth without messing with the structural integrity of this blade. I wanted to completely hand carve this handle, so first I started off using this carving bit on my grinder. All of the reviews on Amazon said to be careful using this thing because of how dangerous it was. I was puckered up at first, but as long as you have a firm grip on the grinder, it wasn't that bad. I hand chiseled on this thing for about two days. I didn't show all of it on film, you'll have to just take my word for it. It was tiring, but a little therapeutic at the same time.
Notice the handle has this large curve on it. That's because when you're standing on a large log and hewing it, the curve helps to get the blade flat against the log without your hand being in the way during your swing. These edges need a little cleaning up from my terrible chisel work. The axe reminded me of a medieval style axe, so I didn't want a bright handle. I felt the dark looked a little more vicious. Now I'm starting the bluing process.
the handle was very lightweight since I didn't use a hardwood. To get a sturdy handle and a nice finish, I opted to epoxy coat the whole thing. I really like how it turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you hate it, you can mention that as well. It benefits my video from an engagement standpoint and YouTube pushes my video more, so go ahead. Of course the belt broke and I didn't have any spares of the grit I needed. I kept moving along though. Since I was already using epoxy on the handle, I just epoxied the handle to the head. This won't go anywhere now. So I live in the desert, so there aren't many trees readily available to chop down. However, on a recent dirt bike ride, I saw some small mesquite trees I could chop down and chop limbs off of that nobody would care about that was pretty deep into the desert. So that's what I did. suck at this, I can tell you that, but it's working. Hey, oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm filming a YouTube, I have a YouTube channel, I'm filming something with it. Sorry, I'm not an, no, I'm not an axe murderer, sorry.
you're probably gonna call the cops.